So, welcome to you all. Very briefly, I will try to explain you and the uh, carpet. I know you're tired, but I'm going to invite you for a couple minutes to the closer to the room so you can understand what I'm explaining. So do not have to As you see on the picture, we take also two pieces of those vertical threads. We make both sides tight. Now she's going to show us a uh, double knot chip. She pulls two threads, she makes both sides tight, takes that down, cut it off. So when we finish one line of knots here, she passed through a material called waft. And then she's got an iron comb in her hand, she's going to hammer down to make those knots each other tighter. And then finally, she's got a special scissors. She's going to cut them off to give the same thickness, the smoothness to the pile of the carpet. So what you see around the world, or what I'm going to show you, they are all made like this. If the size of the carpet is big, loom is getting bigger too. And up to five by seven feet, always one lady making the carpet. If the carpet is bigger than that, two, three, four, five ladies sitting next to each other, they all make together, but only one of them hammers down. The reason is, if everyone hammers in their side, so everyone will give different pressure. So some part of the carpet will be tight, some part will be looser, and the design will be crooked. But each little square is one double knot. So to create this design, she has to stay at the same line, like five red, two blue, three green. And if she misses any of those colors, yes. the design will be like this, and the rat will lose all the rat. That's the same. And not making it at least <coughs> down to be by the same person. 